welcome to the Pacific Northwest in a winter wonderland. I think this is our fifth snowstorm this year. It's been melting off as it as it comes and goes. Um, this is Steve with Born Again Torinos, and this is the second video of the 82 Trans Am. Uh, I've been working on it uh, on and off. Not really, you know, breaking any speed records or nothing, but gathering some parts and and doing little things just to make me feel better. Um, if you remember, in the last video, it had the stock hood. Well, let me show you the original hood. This is a Trans Am, but it was optioned because not all of them came with the power bulging hood. This right here is the original hood, and it was really smacked good right there and there. And that is another hood I got. That's a power bulging hood. That's off of, of a formula. This is the hood that the previous owner put on it, and it is a just a firebird hood with no um, power bulging uh, cal induction. And I really wanted that because it was an option. So I had got that formula one. The formula had that hood, and then I got a fender off that formula, which is, you know, it was a yellow car. And not being a Trans Am, it didn't have the, the vent here, which <laughs> I should probably show you the, the original fender because it was it's pretty dented up. So I cut the hole out for the um, vent and I welded, I cut a hole in this and I welded in the old uh, flanged hole that fits this so this could, you know, go in. And um, so that's what's going to work out just fine since it's a perfect fender. And then a good friend of mine who works at a major... Uh, auto wrecking here in Spokane called Spalding's. He's worked there for a long time and um, he's got an awesome uh, it's, I don't know, 70, his second generation Javelin. It's a AMX uh, with a four speed. Really neat car. And um, he, uh, he knew I was doing the, the third gen Trans Am and he walked the lot out there and found several Firebirds and lo and behold there was a silver Trans Am and since mine was silver and it had the correct hood and fender um, I went ahead and he got me a screaming deal uh, on both fenders so we have that fender and the one I put on the hood which has the uh, aluminum egg crate great which also had the backing plate, aluminum backing plate to block it, which I removed, so now it's a functioning cal induction. Um, so I was so excited when I got home <laughs> that I had this fender on like in 15 minutes. And then um, today I put the hood on, which um, I still may use the formula hood because it's just a, it's a hair nicer than this one. Um, but got it on. And this is the nose that um, the previous owner put on it. Um, and it was dark blue and it bugged me. And it's because it needs to be totally stripped because it uh, was peeling paint and all that. Um, so um, if I do end up doing the, the kit Trans Am, the nose is going to go away anyway. But it just bugged me that it was blue. So I threw some cheap silver paint on just to hide the blue. But um, I sanded the roof just to get the surface rust off and just sprayed some silver on quick and um, there was a spot here that was um, surface rust sanded that painted that just to cover it just because it bugs me to see it knowing the whole car is going to be you know I'll do the bodywork and paint it just in the meantime I wanted it a little more consistent and uh, the tinting oh my goodness what a nightmare This had a, a strip, 
about four or five inches wide all the way across. Got that off. Had to use a heat gun, razor blade. Oh, what a mess. But the hardest part was the back window. As you can see, it's not on there anymore. Took it off the back window. Oh, I think we can just pop it. Let's see. I don't know if I need the key needs to be in or not. Nope. I got new struts, so this incredibly heavy hatch will stay up without a stick, which is awesome. But, oh man, I spent laying in here with a heat gun two days of heating, scraping, because it did not want to, it delaminated the, the, uh, the window tinning, which was awful. It didn't come off in one sheet like it's supposed to. What a nightmare, but glad that's off of there. Glad the struts are on. I also got struts for the hood. Um, so the hood stays up, that stays up. Um, correct fenders, hood. And another neat bonus is in one of the cars that uh, my buddy showed me was a blue Trans Am and it had the uh, factory uh, working cal induction so you have this and this mates up to under the hood which has this unit so under the hood this comes up and meets so the um, the it gets I guess ram air and here's the the back plate but um, I'm probably not going to put that on here. I'm probably just going to sell this. Because um, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with this car. But I was, I, when I saw that I had to have it, um, it's a hard enough piece to find that I know someone's going to need it. Probably not me. And uh, so it's just nice to see this one piece again. Um, so next will probably be mechanical stuff because it does start up and run and drive, but it has that exhaust leak on the ex passenger exhaust manifold. And um, uh, uh, the pan, the previous owner changed the filter and fluids on the transmission, but I noticed uh, leaks coming from the bolts on the pan. So it might just need to be torqued up or, or something. Um, that's leaking and uh, just have them up I think I'll have my mechanic just kind of sort it out and make sure it's running good um, as good as it can and then I can tackle the body because I just want it running good so because I pull them in and out all the time when I'm doing body work because I don't do a lot of the body work in the shop I do it outside so it's just neat to see once again this car as it should be yeah, I can see the little door dings and the door, just minor stuff. Um, so that, that's it. It's whole again, even with the factory antenna. And it still has this dent here. So I'm deciding whether I'm going to take this off and fix it or just use the other fender I got. This is just a minor push in. But that's it. I don't think I've done anything else. That's enough for now, I guess. I don't think I closed the trunk, did I? Yeah, I did. So there you go. A little update extra parts and I do have parts if anyone knows anyone who needs third gen parts I've got extra headlight doors mirrors um, distributor caps uh, wiper motors 
uh, brake boosters, stuff like that. So if you know anyone, I've got it. Oh, and T-tops. Uh, that's something, even though this is not a T-top car, uh, the previous owner did give me a, a pair, but um, I'm obviously not going to use them. So that's it. Um, I don't know when the next video will be, but hopefully I'll find some more stuff to do on this before uh, spring hits. But this has been Steve with Born Again Torinos, and thanks for watching.